Okay guys, how you doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth. I'm the creator of Crystal H Technology Screens. Uh, this right here is our Platinum 4K Cinema Screens. Also too, this is the Silver Ultimate 4K Cinema Screens. My, the new blackout cloth is available for our Fusion Silver and Fusion Black Screens, which means the screen does come in jet black. It's only for the Fusion Silver uh, series only. Now today I'm gonna talk about a true demonstration when it comes to doing a ambient light um, a rejection screen. Now I see demonstrations where some people have lights here, here, and there around the screen, but there's no physical, physical, sorry, physical light actually on the screen. Now right over here, I have the 500 watt bar light. As you can see, how much light is coming off the screen? Look at that. It's just lighting up a line right there. That's how much light comes off those bar lights. In the middle, I have another 100 watt light. Now the reason why I have that there, and I'm going to show you why. First, I'm going to come over to the surface to show you how amazing the surface is. Now this surface right here is a form of uh, wrinkle free. Um, it cannot get creases in the screen because the screen creases just pull right out of the screen, but that's something you won't have a problem with, with the screen because they're all shipped on a roll. But this particular surface right here is designed that use very little pulling and stretching on the surface to be able to um, to stretch the screen out very little. Now you can actually attach this to a piece of plywood, a frame that you have built, a wall. It doesn't make a difference. It can be Velcro, it can be nailed, it can be glued. It's up to you on how you want to apply it. Now. The surface is, yes, these screens are 3D and 4K ready, and they can work with projectors as low as 500 lumens. Now, the screens on the Fusion Silver and Fusion Black, our black screen that comes in this version, must be used with a projector of 3,000 lumens and up. That is the only screen that requires 3,000 lumens are the black screens. But the silver screens can be used with projectors, even the platinum. The platinum can be used uh, with a projector of 500 lumens, as low as 500 lumens. All right, so let's show you. Now you see the 500 watt bar light. Look how bright that thing is. Now I'm gonna show you uh, how far we have the projector sitting back. So we're gonna come all the way back here. Our projector is sitting 15 feet away from the screen. We are using our NEC VT595 projector at 2000 lumens, 720p, 600 by 800 res. You'll have some people out there saying, well, why don't you go with a high power projector? Why don't you use 4K and all that? No, here's the thing. If you can prove that your projector at this caliber, we're talking about 2000 lumens, 720p, and you're talking about your projector is gonna travel 16 feet and those lumens are gonna hit that um, 100 watt lamp. That lamp is designed to diminish the lumens on this projector, because that projector's gotta punch through that light. And then it's gotta hit my overhead light in that bright living room, and then it's gotta hit that screen with that 500 watt bar light, and then come back with a beautiful picture without the screen washing out. Then you got a heck of a screen on your hands. Anybody can make a screen look fantastic with a 4K projector or a full 1080p projector. Anybody can do that, and anybody can do it in a fully in a, in a, in a um in a dark environment. But I can turn all the lights out in here, leave these uh these uh these high power lights on, and the screen will still not wash out and fade. And that's one of the things. This is the reason why I have people come at me sometimes saying, "Well, why, what's the deal with the 500 watt bar light?" Because in a lot of demonstrations that I see people doing demonstrations on their screens. Yes, they have lights here and there a little bit in the environment, but there's no physical light hitting the screen. That's the real test to test how superior your screen is. Okay, so let's get this started. And also too, that measuring tape is very important when you're doing these demonstrations. My, as I said, the farther back your projector sits, the more the lumens are gonna have to travel across the room and hit the screen and come back with a perfect image. Now look at this right there from the door. Looks fantastic, doesn't it? All right, so I'm gonna bring it back a little bit and we're going to begin this. Okay, hope you enjoy it. So now we're at, from here to here, all this light. We are around 15 feet back. I want you to look at this. Now let's look at the angle gain. 
This is an angle gain with a 500 watt bar light in the middle of the screen. This is what you have to be able to prove when it comes to your technology, how good it is. My projector sitting way back there in the next room. On top of that you have the overhead light. So it's not enough to basically have lights just all around in your surrounding. You have to have physical light hitting the screen. And also too, you have to watch out because if you look at the screen on an angle, the screen will fade out. You'll see the screen start to fade out. It'll turn dark. Well, not dark, sorry. That's uh, screens with narrow viewing cones. But usually when it comes to screen paints, one of the things you have to worry about is when you turn to the side like this, the screen will fade out on this side. It'll turn a tannish color. Now look at the blue there and look at the blue here. see a difference in the color the blue here versus the blue there screens are absolutely incredible now I'll take my lights out over here show you from another angle on how far the projector is back and the light that it's nailing look at the platinum the platinum looks fantastic See how beautiful that screen looks? Look at that. Color doesn't wash out, color doesn't fade, color does not become distorted. You know what I mean? That's only with half our light up. Mind the projector has to cut through all of this light and still be able to hit this screen. And the screen still has to come up fantastic. Okay guys, I'm done here in this demonstration. I gotta get back to work. I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal H Technology Projection Screens using smart technology gain. Hope you enjoyed this video demonstration. I'd like to thank you all for watching.